Oh god, don't freak out. Do not freak out. I know there's a lot going on in this rational polynomial, but whatever you do, just do not freak out. Okay? Yes, this is a sum, and you know, the first thing, you know, when you see something very complicated like this, start something small. Alright? We're just gonna start small things first. Okay, so we know this is a sum, blah blah blah, from zero to infinity. Okay, we need to we need to get this done. Uh, n plus one minus x n. Okay, uh, what is this? Um, one plus x power n. Okay, let me. Okay, well, let's just. I want to factor this side. We can actually factor that with what? X to the power of n of x plus what? X to the power of n. Plus one. Well, in that case, I might as well just factor out x as well. Okay, so uh, x n plus one plus x n. This is one plus x n plus x to the power of n plus one of what? One plus x to the power of n. Ah, one plus x to the power of n here. One plus x to the power of n here. We can factor. Okay. Okay. Oh, and I think I kind of see where this is going. 1 plus x to the power of n plus 1. Ah, look at this. Okay, if you remember our training uh, with zero substitution, right? What we can do is we could solve this kind of a G style. Uh, we'll do plus 1 minus 1, right? And what we're doing is we're doing plus 1 here. I should probably color it just to easily see. We do plus 1 here. Then we do minus 1 here. That's an n, right? So that here, what we actually have, well, actually, I'll probably do it here. So what we're doing is we have n x plus uh, x to the power of n plus 1 plus 1 minus xn plus 1 and we're going to be using this to cancel out some stuff with this plus 1 awesome so what we technically have n equals 2 from 0 to infinity so when we cancel some stuff out we actually have x power n plus 1 minus x power n plus 1 uh, plus 1 there we go. All right, awesome. Now, you tell me, uh, should we start uh, integrating or should we start using the sum? Ah, so that's a choice that you need to make very quickly. Either you integrate using beta function or you compute the sum first. Now, what do you want to do? Compute the sum or compute the integral? What I'm going to do, I want to compute the sum first. Let me show you why. Okay, when I compute the sum, I get x squared plus 1 minus x cubed plus 1. Okay, awesome. What's next? Let n equal to 3. x cubed plus 1 x4 plus 1. Let n equal to 4. x4 plus 1. x5 plus 1. Ah, and it keeps going. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Would you look at that? They telescope. So we don't need new we don't need to use beta function. We don't need to use Euler's reflection, right? So yes, everything telescopes. Cool, right? Very cool, very cool. Okay. But there's something that we need to be careful about. dx minus. And then we have the limit. As n approaches to infinity. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Wait, yeah, yeah. The, this cancels out. What am I doing? This cancels out. I'm sorry, because it telescopes, the telescoping thing. We're only, we should be left with this. What am I doing? I'm sorry. 
uh, the the first the first because it gets telescoped. So you're technically left left with this only. So uh, n plus one is infinity. Uh, so here, yeah, you should be just left off with just one. Yeah, because you get zero plus one. So in fact, what you actually get is pi over two. This is pretty much what you get. And so your answer should be pi over two minus one. It's a very dangerous sum. <laughs> very dangerous. Very dangerous. But this is this is the computing the summation way. Uh, although, as you can see, I nearly uh, got it. Well, I did got it wrong technically, but uh, there there are some risks, right? There is there are some risks. Now, if you want to do it the beta function way, you can. You just have to move a little bit faster, because your opponent can beat you to it first. So okay, let's see. This is like I actually don't remember my beta function stuff. So I believe this is like, uh, what is this? Let me actually, if I gave myself a reference, I need, I need, I need a reference. I need a reference. X power of n plus one. This is what? Zero to infinity. Of u plus one. Du of what? You. I'm letting u equal x power of n. So I have u to the power of 1 over n. So I have 1 over n, u, 1 over n minus 1. Du. I think that's it. Yeah. And so now this is equal to 1 over n of what? Beta function of 1 over n, 1 minus 1 over n. So I get pi over n cosecant. Of pi over n. Ah, got it. All right. So now we have pi over n. Minus pi over n plus 1 of cosecant pi over n plus 1. Right. This telescopes. Uh, we know it telescopes, so this is just you know plug in two. We get pi over two minus whatever approach to infinity. Again, we take this. We don't do this. This gets telescoped, so we only focus on this, right? And if you know uh, this is technically. This is pi over n plus 1 of sine pi over n plus 1. Okay? And this is this is 1. Right? It's it's that uh, that baby limit that we like to use. Right? This from the limit as x approach to 0. Right? This is equal to 1. Okay? This what we have here is the same thing x but instead it's just reciprocated. Right? Sine of 1 over x. 1 over x is equal to 1. Okay? And you can flip it too. It don't matter, right? Whatever this is from some function is equal to L, then you can just reciprocate it. Uh, 1 over f of x is equal to 1 over L. It don't matter. Okay? So, I'm just rushing uh, because it's, you know, it's basic stuff. Okay. But, yes. This cancels out to 1. So, I answer it's pi over 2 minus 1. Okay? Alright. I hope that helps. So don't be afraid of the sum, right? Again, t take small steps and then notice something and then just keep going after. Uh, the sum's a little annoying, but that's alright. Okay? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.